Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles. Alright, we made it to Parma. <sighs> Here we are. Welcome to Parma. Hey, you're on time for once. Yuli! Have you been there, Leonard? Oh, you must be the new girl. Rapachi told me you were coming. Glad you could make it. The wine's all set to go. Follow me. Alrighty, that is Yuli. Didn't think we'd run into Yuli. <laughs> Alright, what's up, buddy? You got a crush on her or something? Well, let's head down and get the wine. You must be kidding. Don't let his looks fool you. He's a big old pussycat. I don't know, he looks more like a dog to me. Now where? Ralph said he'd be here. Who? Your driver. Rouse is the only one who can get this fella to pull the wane. It won't move a step, not without Rouse's say so. Sit tight. I'll see if I can find him. But, Yuli! Alright. Yay, now we get to try and find somebody. Well, let's uh, start asking around. I guess there's a couple of things, a couple of treasure chests we can loot as well. Fabiola. You seen him? Rouse. Yeah, really. Anyways. Let's head up here, and uh, I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but this is actually uh, Yuli's place. But we're here to uh, pick up some brass earrings. Supposed to be looking for him, really. Uh, I'll leave these two. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but good luck. That thing's gonna cart the wine? <laughs> what about you, Selma? Signy. Where do you see somebody with that name? No. I guess we'll have to. You Signy? No. But behind here we got another treasure chest with a tree in the way, but with a bag of gold. A bag of gold dust again. Alright. Let's see if we can find Signy. Item and the, uh, I guess, jewelry shop here. Yeah, there she is. I'm so glad we hurried out here. Oh, the horse stables. What is he doing in there? Well, maybe he's out for a ride. Hey, guys. Oh, well, we're getting closer. Delvedoth. You oaf. Oh, dear me, did I doze off again? Oh. This is where you were hiding? I told you not to be late. 
please don't be mad, Miss Yuli. I am so sorry. <laughs> Now you're all set. Boy, it's starting to get dark. We better haul cask. Okay, Leonard. Like I mentioned before, Rouse here will be driving the Beast Wayne. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, happy to assist, Chief. Uh, by the way, if I happen to doze off again, uh, kindly wake me up before this beastie remembers I forgot to feed it breakfast and turns me into a late lunch. <laughs> Uh-huh. He's kind of weird, but he gets the job done. Off we go. We? You're coming too? Well, yeah. I wouldn't miss this party for the world. What? You don't want the extra help? Come on. We're late as it is. Ah. <sighs> All right. Well, <laughs> I guess we got more party members. Yeah. Alright, before we head out, I definitely want to go back to Parma to well, upgrade some equipment, and Yuli has some uh, levels, level uh, skill points that she's got to use up, so let's take care of that. Alright. As always, I'll uh, post the uh, everything in the video description that we need, and all the setups. It's near harvest time. Alright, talk to Colleen here for the, uh, the jewelry. We want to buy a. Oh, what's this? Yeah. I want a willpower ring for Lyriel to boost the MP and a wing of wisdom. <laughs> a wing of wisdom, yeah. <laughs> ring of wisdom for Lyriel as well to boost the damage output. Uh, what else? I want to. Uh, oh, there it is. Power ring. A couple of them, one for Leonard and one for Yuli, since Yuli's just new here and. She's not quite as leveled up as we are. Uh, and what else? Uh, yeah, speed ring. Alright. Let's uh, head over to the armory and uh, see what weapons and armor they got. Let's wrap this up soon. Ortegas. Alrighty. And yeah, that goes into the yes, enhancement. Alright, Knight Sword. We already got one, but. I want to buy an Oaken Staff for Lyriel. That'll boost her damage output as well. And I want to get a uh, Cotton Cuss for Leonard and Yuli. Minimal cost for uh, an extra bit of defense. And yeah, that's about it. Alright, let's, let's uh, go into Enhance here. And we will be using the uh, uh, Chromium Pearl to actually enhance the damage output of the Knight Sword to a Knight Sword plus one. That basically converts it from an uh, attack of 10 to attack of 12. So let's use that one up, and there we go. And as far as Yuli goes, she's got a knife. I'm going to replace that with, well, since I'm going to give, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, the, uh, the Guardian Pearls, as you might be able to guess, you use those to upgrade your armor. Obviously, it's pretty useless, but well, let's uh, get out of here. And uh, yeah, well, we might as well use up, I don't worry about the, that afterwards. Alright, so let's uh, give the short sword to Yuli. A little extra damage for her and the buckler as well. Alright, and all right, let's get that. And there's the, uh, the brass earrings. I'm going to give those to Leonard for the extra hit points. Let's equip this stuff. And yeah, sword, it's awesome. Uh, here. So I'm going to store this stuff. I'm going to. As far as Yuli goes in terms of her leveling, I'm actually going to be te uh, te uh, training her to become a uh, an archer, so ranged. Uh, speed ring and get the short sword and buckle equipped. And what the? I guess I didn't equip this. Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing that's a little finicky about this. Ah, why'd I do that? Let's put the knife in the storage. Awesome. All right, we're all set to go. I'll have the uh, setup in the video description, the full setup, and let's get the uh, skills learned for uh, 
Yuli and yes, at the end of last episode, uh, off screen, I did use up these skills. Uh, I did post the uh, uh, skill list in the video description last episode. So, um, all right, for Yuli, I want, as I said, we're going to be. Uh, she's going to be using bow. However, we want to get her agility and dexterity up, as well as her strength. But her uh, abilities. The one thing you notice here is I got a couple of nodes here uh, blacked out. Those ones she cannot learn. So in other words, axe she cannot learn. So her strength is going to be uh, you know, pretty limited, and longsword as well, which uses a lot of strength as well. Uh, this one has the only two points, uh, the only four points of strength that she can uh, actually learn, uh, which I'll be using. But her main thing with uh, uh, bows will be dexterity. So right, let's get that, and what else? Her agility up. Dexterity. Agility determines how much damage you'll do with slashing as well, so that's why I'm learning that, and Dexterity determines, you know, uh, your ability to actually hit the person, so there we go. And Sword Master 2, and I have one to carry over. Alright, and anything else? Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to do, but... Left, right 2, right, and that right, she's good. Alright, what I wanted to do last time was change this to go all out. Oops, go all out. Because the, any time that I actually have to use Leonard for in battle, uh, I will be... <laughs> yeah, I want her to be using all the most powerful stuff that she's got kind of thing to keep the DPS up. Alright, so we're all set up here, and which means we're ready to uh, head back to Valendorf. The grapes Valendor, should be in season now. And, uh, well, we're going to have to guard uh, Rouse and the, the wine while we get back there, so... Uh, that's why we've got three party members and upgraded equipment. Alright, so I will finally make it back to Balandar next time, and well, I wonder if we'll finally be able to enjoy some of the festivities. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.